What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another epic player review plus a bonus player at the end which could be one of the best defenders in the game right now. I honestly think we have a really good build for him as well as a bonus towards the end of the video but we are going to be concentrating on Trent, Stevie G and David Seaman. 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 Treat it as two words and you can be safe. Anyway, we are going to go ahead with those training guides, show you the ultimate builds, and talk a little bit about why we've built them the way we've built them. Let's go. All right, so we're going to start with Stevie G. Steven Gerrard, lads, honestly, I feel like his best position is going to be a defensive center midfielder, box to box. Treat him as kind of like a defensive Bellingham uh, build, or maybe Barella, somebody kind of like that. I know that he can shoot, I know that he's got good passing stats, but this is the build that we've gone for, and to be honest, he's been keeping Makaleli out of the squad because of the dual role that he can play. We have a defensive beast in Vieira, or Rijkaard, or even Makaleli if we want to throw him in, I know you can play him DMF as well, but I honestly feel like that this is the best training guide for him, if you're looking for a hybrid defensive player that's going to be able to get forward, because I'll be honest with you, right, that's the build that you have there on screen, I'm going to be bl brutally honest, right, Steven Gerrard is too clunky to play as your attacking midfielder, right? If you're used to playing with Neymar or using to play with Kaká or any of those kind of slick Zico type players, Baggio, any of those, it's very difficult to kind of transform Ster Gerrard into that. He is more kind of alike to Makalele, Ambrosini, any of those guys, Nedved, any of those kind of workhorse guys. And you can see there the stats comparison. I mean, you can see the stats there for yourself. It's not just about stats. Jared is kind of a bulkier player. He's not rapid. He's not mobile. He's not versatile. He is kind of like a long distance shooter, passer, and defensive kind of option to coexist with a really deep defensive midfielder. Now, we've actually given Jared true passing, long range shooting, and blocker. We got very lucky with the additional skills that we actually did give him. We had a couple there to give him. I would recommend this build. If you are struggling with Jared, I definitely, or you're looking for the best Jarrah build, this guy is probably the best all-round build that you can get. Really high defense, probably a bit too much defense, but he will get the job done for you if you're playing a double pivot or playing a single pivot with uh, Jarrah just a little bit ahead of Vieira. We also got David Seaman as well. Um, I found since I got Seaman, lads, that the gameplay became very sticky. Uh, I don't know why that was, but Seaman in goals, he's got the ponytail, he's got everything else going on. Awareness, catching, parrying, reflexes. Now, I thought, I kind of messed up with this build at the start, right? I messed up a little bit by going with the catching so heavy. But I felt since V3.3 or V3.4, the last update, like, I felt between the transition between the two of them... I felt that the goalkeepers are parrying quite a lot. They're not actually catching it. Now, I will say that Seaman is a very, very good uh, player and presence in the goal. I don't think he's as good as Czech. So we just went for a very simplified 9-9-10 build and then popped one into Ariel as well, I think it was. Or did we even have a chance to pop one into Ariel? I'm not too sure. But, I mean, I, I kind of don't really recommend goalkeepers too highly. You know, stick a man in the goals. It, it doesn't really matter. You'll see a video that I'm going to be bringing out of Giroud who can play in goals from the nominating contract, uh, who, who make an unbelievable saves. Unbelievable saves, right? And especially if you manual goalkeeper, I still think Czech is the better option. But that's the build that we've gone for. Those are the stats that you have there. He's got high accuracy with his weak foot. He's got unwavering form. He's a tall keeper. He kind of stacks up very well with Czech, both defensive keepers. Me, personally... I just prefer Czech. Some people would prefer Schmeichel. Some people would prefer Seaman. We also did get at the end of yesterday's stream, thank you to Lou Cola, thank you to OC and to Michael Harrison as well as Scotty Too Hotty. Sorry about the picture quality here, lads. Uh, something messed up with my sentence here for recording this. But we did actually get this on the live stream with Trent Alexander-Arnold joining the squad. Now, I, in, I originally kind of hadn't really thought where I would play Trent because I didn't really plan on going for him. But obviously we got donations, which I'm lucky enough to get as a content creator from you guys. So I really do appreciate that. Give your GGs to the boys in the chat. We did have a look at Trent's stats and I was kind of thinking to myself, right, how would I actually train Trent up properly if I'm looking at his stats and if I'm looking at what role I want him to play? The first thing that you need to kind of tell yourself is that Trent is not a defensive option. He is going to be really a good passer of the ball, spreader of the ball, and kind of being an out wide player that can still get back in defending. So once I kind of copped that on, that that's his style of play, I treated Trent as Roberto Carlos on the right side. That is essentially what I did with him here. So this version of Trent has got excellent player skills. 
I know I've seen a few people ask me questions. Could you actually train him up as a CMF and pop him in where Stevie G is and maybe have him kind of as an orchestrator? And I would say that's that that's not the worst idea in the world because I honestly feel that that could be really meta with the right system, the right tactics and possession based players. But I feel like the crossing and the animations that Trent has, as you see here, the way he puts the ball into the box when you like heighten up his stats for passing and lofted pass in a 3-5-2 or a 3-2-3-2 formation where you've got a target man in the box, it won't be for everybody. Listen, you can just play Trent straight up as a 4-4-2 or whatever formation that you want. But I do honestly think that Trent's high point is going to come if you play him out wide. That's where I find that Roberto Carlos does the most work. When I'm not really dependent on him to help out defensively as much, I'm kind of the same with Trent. This is a very, very, very aggressive high risk, high reward style of play. I would probably play this with LBC rather than quick counter. We are doing Xabi Alonso. Let me know in the comments below if you want a Xabi Alonso kind of review of new manager, but that is the build that we've gone for. Now, I know a few of you will be asking, is 12 into defending when you're saying he's not a defensive player? The reason I've gone for 12 into defending is, you know, boosting his speed or acceleration up to 93 or 94 it's not going to make a massive difference to the card and what he's doing. The same with the passing. We've the lofted pass at 95. His dribbling is at 80. Tight position at 82. And balance at 80. There's nowhere else really to put the stats. Now, when you look at a defensive fullback such as Bergomi Dahomey, there is going to be no comparison defensively between Trent and Bergomi. But what Bergomi is, you know, has above Trent... Uh, Trent has above Bergomi and other stats. So for example, there's no comparison between the aggression and the defensive engagement, but you can control a lot of defensive um, and aggressiveness and defensive engagement and awareness manually if you're, if, you're, if you're a good defender. So you can kind of overcompensate for that. Where the comparison comes, in my opinion, is going to be between somebody like H Hakimi or somebody like that, as you're seeing on screen here. Somebody like Hakimi is a player that I have used for quite a bit. You can see his stats there on screen. There isn't much to talk about apart from the fact that, you know, there's a difference between fullback finisher and attacking fullback, but they are kind of similar. I would treat Alexander Arnold as kind of like a wing back. There isn't wing backs in the game. At the moment, you can't actually put a player into a wing back position. Right midfielder is a cover all for that. Um, but I definitely think that's his best position, in my opinion. Now, last but not least, we do have a bonus pair, player as well, Saliba. Arsenal Saliba as a build-up player. Very good play style. It's kind of a passive play style defensively compared to Destroyer, which if you aren't the best defender and you don't like the high-risk, high-reward style of defense, I would always recommend, if you're playing a back three, to have two build-up and one Destroyer. If you're playing a back four, you can have any play style that you want. It doesn't really matter. One build-up, one Destroyer. There's the stats that you see there for him. I mean, it goes without saying. There is the build that we have as well. Really, really nice build for him. I think that that's a really good card. One of the best cards. And when you look how he tracks up against somebody like Aldair, who is a destroyer, Aldair is one of the best players since the last update. I was shocked in the live tier list that Aldair wasn't an S tier player because his stats are ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But Tommy Asu, as you guys know, Tommy Asu has been my favorite CB in the game for, for forever. And look how he stacks up there with Saliba or how Saliba stacks up with him. So there is the bonus Saliba in there as well with the training guide. Let me know your thoughts on this video. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll be back soon. Peace.